if I had to pick one model of any vehicle anywhere as the best all-round four-wheel drive ever made, it'd probably be the 80 series Toyota. Now, um, that's for a whole bunch of reasons. It was the last of the truly tough four-wheel drives. You uh, Nissan people can think what you want on that, you know. But the 80 series was the first Toyota that was comfortable with coils all the way around. And, you know, driven well, you could do almost anything with it. You could modify them fairly easily. Now they're starting to get hard on the ground. Pretty soon, you're going to be watching the price of 80s go through the roof. Actually, it already has. And oh, you know what? I'm about to show you an awesome custom 80 series here. But I couldn't help thinking about our own 80, the one that I stupidly sold, because it really was, for about 10 years, the best family vehicle ever. We used to use it to tow our caravan. We used to use it for famping holidays, famping, <laughs> family camping holidays with the camper trailer. Um, by crikey, it did everything. It did beach, beach work and all sorts of stuff. And in the end, it was quite a highly modified vehicle. Along the way, you know, we turboed up the 1HZ, we fitted uh, terrain tamer brakes all around and it had airbags and, oh, it was just an awesome thing. It really was. And then along comes me and thinks, oh, it's time to get a V8. And I went and bought a 76 and it's the most disappointing thing I've ever done. Righto. Well, with no further ado, check out this awesome custom 80 series. Good on you. G'day, I'm Matt. This is my 80 Series Cruiser. <laughs> yeah, I picked up the truck about six months ago. Uh, most of the mods were already done on it. Saw this one, had all the right gear, the same brands I wanted. I went for it, saved myself at least 10 grand. Probably the number one factor when I was looking for this vehicle, that uh, the, the item that really stood out for me was the fact that it was twin locked. You know, the performance that it gives you off-road is just, uh, yeah, it's outstanding. I really enjoy having the lockers. Yeah, a lot of the gear that was on the bull bar when I picked her up uh, was already set up. Uh, it already had the 12,000 pound winch on it. I picked her up with the Kmar rear wheel carrier, which is great for carrying that spare wheel at the moment. Uh, just over the next couple of months, I'm gonna finish her off with uh, some nice custom bar work, just for that little bit of extra protection. And so moving up to the top of the truck, uh, she came with a really nice full-length steel uh, roof rack. Uh, I just finished it off with some nice driving lights, some nice rear lights for pulling up at campsites at night. Uh, put an awning on her, uh, the holding holder for the, uh, the shovel and the, uh, the high lift. Okay, so the suspension uh, wheels and tyres, they came with the vehicle. Uh, it's running the uh, six-inch lift, uh, Tough Dog uh, nine-way adjustable suspension. Really, really enjoy it. It's a great suspension kit. I uh, can sort of soften it up for the road if I need to. Uh, nice and hard for the tracks. Yeah, really, really good fun. Uh, it's got uh, rock crawler rims with uh, 35 muddies. Yeah, so in the rear of the vehicle, uh, I popped in there a, a cargo barrier that I picked up the other week. Um, I've got a bit of a unique situation where I've got to fit a fridge, uh, a few drawers for some, uh, some storage, but I've also got to fit the dog in as well. So I've decided to knock something up myself, which I'm going to uh, sort of tackle in the next sort of month or so. Under the bonnet, uh, she's running the 4.2 uh, naturally aspirated diesel. I'm really happy with it actually. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful motor, the 1HZ. Um, it came with dual battery system, diff breathers, uh, it had some radiator work done, the extractors had all been done up, so look, I'm, I'm really happy with her. Long term plans uh, with the 80, I want to start running her in some comps. Uh, hopefully in the next couple of years, I'm thinking of uh, cutting the back off the vehicle, uh, shortening it up with a little tray at the back there and finishing off all the bar work and start running her in some of the bigger comps, but uh, my wife doesn't know about that yet, so shh. Hello, I'm Millie and I love coming out here on the weekends to have camping times with Dad. My name is Joel and I like going through muddy puddles and getting the car dirty. Hello! Hey, Look, if you've got an 80 series, take my word for it. Hang on to it. They are just an awesome piece of kit. Australia really is the greatest place on earth. And I reckon the outback is the heart and soul of our country. There's nothing I love better than getting in Milo and driving off into the vast peace and quiet that you only get when you're right out in the bush. And the best thing is, it's just down the end of your street too. So come on, this is where you'll feel the true heartbeat of Australia. Come out here and have a look. 